Hey, yo, welcome back to some more Soundscape Survival. And uh, I'm in the nether right now because I, I, I saw something. I, I went to my portal, I saw something, I'm like, whoop, I better show this. This is actually, it might be pretty helpful. So, uh, right here. I heard you're gonna decorate your house with clay. Isaac. So he put clay everywhere. And many would think that this is griefing. But you know, I need clay. I like clay. I'm going to completely overhaul that factory, because when I was looking at it last episode while I was editing, I was like, damn, that's ugly. And I, I worked around creative a little bit, and I think I found a good... Ah, I messed up my water. You had to just mess up the water. Ah, now I mess up the water. Ah, fix the water. Fix the water. Fix. Water is weird in this game. So any, uh, yeah, the the factory it's it's pretty ugly right now. And I worked around creative, and I think I came up with a better scheme of how it's gonna work out. And it's going to involve quartz, quartz blocks, which I really haven't been taking advantage of, which, which, like I should have. He put clay in. Dang man, dang man, put clay everywhere. There's nothing down there. So yeah, quartz is it's a very nice, clean, pure white block. You don't really need clay. I mean, for a quartz for like uh, a large amounts of it for devices like comparators or daylight sensors. That only uses a very little bit. <clears throat> it's not like I need to use comparators and daylight sensors all the time. What happened here? Oh, yeah. This is a problem with this machine. If someone, if you sleep just at like while the machine is getting activated so just as it's turning tonight or just as it's turning today and you sleep it will cancel it out and it'll mess it up so make sure if you have this in your world you either don't sleep or you sleep while it's in the middle of the night or else it will flood everything and you can't really fix that because that's just how time works i'll replant this later look around for some more clay first how much do we get so far it's like nothing there's nothing right there. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> in my sugar cane farm. I, don't, I haven't checked up on this in a while. Hello. <laughs> you put an egg in there. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. I got a lot from. Oh, hello. A lot from that. A lot from that. I'm almost level 30. I want to enchant something. I think I'm just going to go. I'm going to try and use a. Uh, for the quartz, I'm going to use Silk Touch, bring it back to my place, and I'm fortunate. So I'm going to use an Iron Pick for that, since there's a high chance that you'll die in the nether. I do not want... I saw you. I saw that. I know that I'm just going to find these blocks for, like, the next week in the most random places. Is this... This isn't even planted. Wow, I forgot about that, apparently. Put any in here? Nope. Of course not. I can stop the flow, though. Stop the flow. I got my pop filter, by the way. It's very nice. Worth the uh, the month of waiting. <laughs> uh, did you put any down here? Nope. I have some potatoes and some carrots growing down here because I've only harvested from there, like, four or five times, and I have enough wheat to fill all of those chests. It's, it's a very productive farm. I don't need to harvest very much. Oh, even over here too. Oh, and up here, of course. <laughs> this is really helpful, though. And this is much more fun than being at the bottom of the ocean. Is some fall in there? No, we're good. I hate that, too, when you get back from, like, a trip of gathering a whole bunch of clay and you have, like, an odd number of clay, clay things and you realize that you missed some somewhere. <sighs> it's the most annoying. Because it, 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 you can't make hardened clay unless you have four. So if you got an odd number, you screwed. You screwed. Give me all that. Alright, so I'm going to be working on El Factoria for another episode. Then I'll move over to something else. Still need a storage room. <laughs> That'll be nice. That'll be the day. Storage room. Also, there's something that that's kind of... Oops kind of interesting we uh for those of you who know what reddit is we made a subreddit that is just because youtube is very odd it doesn't really have group support so 
like if you wanted to check out all of the the people on the server just making uh making videos you would have to go to each of their individual channels so we looked for a free and easy navigable way of making a center where you can see all of our videos and when we upload them so we just made a subreddit it's uh reddit dot here reddit dot com slash r slash soundscape ser server and in there there's just uh whenever we upload a video we'll just make a, a link there so you can go to there if you if you want to see all of our videos in one central location uh it's, it should be useful i like reddit it's it's cool so yeah i'm gonna go around search for some more clay and then i'm gonna get prepped and ready to go for the nether so we can get some quartz i'm gonna need a whole lot of it the the color scheme that i was thinking of it still uses the light blue clay but it also uses mostly cyan clay uh blue clay quartz and stone brick and it looks decent it looks pretty nice. This is very factory-like, which is, it's not supposed to be like, oh, that's so art artistic. It's, it's supposed to be a factory. It's supposed to be rugged and I guess kind of futuristic for the tone that I'm going for. But it's, it's, it looks cool. It looks cool. So I'll, I'll get ready to go for the nether. Okay, before I get going for that, uh, I have 30 levels now. So I'm just going to go silk touch that's what we want that's what we want this is going to be our silk touch pick for the nether for gathering quartz so okay we we i've given you multiple tries you have still failed to produce the result that i wanted but i'm willing to let you have it again just one more one more time so what i need you to do is really focus this time focus your inner energy on this pick just look at it all right look at it we're gonna get silk touch on this. Alright? Uh huh. You're focusing? You're focusing? <laughs> you suck. You suck at this game! <sighs> you know what? I think I have a silk touch book I'm gonna use on that. Or I think, no, maybe. I'll, I'll look around. I'll find something. I'll find something. Way to go. Way to go, Gary. I know it's you. I know it's you to mess it up. Do I have a silk touch book? Is that's feather falling? Hmm, books, 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 books. Wait, why would I use a silk touch? I have a silk touch book. Why would I use it on a pick? I should be using that on shears. I'm gonna keep trying to get a silk touch iron pick, and then I'll be ready and prepped to go for the Nether in no time. All right, uh, back in my blaze farm. I just got a whole bunch of levels. And I'm ready to make this pick. This wonderful iron pick. I'm combining efficiency th uh, four and unbreaking three, like a good work pick with uh, silk touch. It's, it's 36 that way, and it's 32 that way. It's cheated the system. All right. So what I'm gonna do with this is gonna take a long time, and I'm not gonna record it because it's gonna take forever. I'm just gonna go around. Uh, maybe branch mine or maybe just explore large parts of the nether and get a whole bunch of quartz a lot of it because we're gonna need a lot not only just for the factory but just i mean quartz as a block is just pretty freaking awesome it takes a long time so i'm going to go off on my journey and i'll be back to work on the factory when i'm done all right i've gathered a whole bunch of quartz it was a whole lot uh, it was a multiple hour long expedition this stuff is hard to find or it, it's pretty easy to find it's hard to get to and even when you get to it it doesn't yield a whole lot of blocks so i got my fortune three pick right now and i'm gonna go through all of these and i'm going to pick away and pick away and this should get me a lot of levels too uh hopefully this should be enough for uh the majority of the factory but <laughs> i'm gonna need a ton more because I mean, factories are big you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be able to finish the entrance, which is what I'm just going to work on today, but, oh my geez, they should make something like this, because quartz looks so nice, I mean, net wool isn't good enough anymore, normally you, if you wanted white walls, you would just use wool, but it's not good enough, because now we got quartz and just looks so much better, and it's really hard to get, but I mean, the, part of the reason 
uh, that I, I like that is if there's a block that's really hard to get, it's really rewarding when you actually make something out of it because it, it takes a longer time. It takes more in the gathering resources part than in the actual building part. And it, it can really end up paying off in the end because you can look back at it and be like, I made that. And that was really hard to make. Which is why I was thinking about making a quartz house. Like uh, up, up there, above us. A big quartz house or like a quartz castle or fortress or something because it would look really cool. And then I realized after about two hours in the nether that this much product <laughs> doesn't really justify the amount of blocks you get from it. I mean, it's good for smaller projects like the factory, because it's not going to use mainly quartz blocks, it's going to use mainly clay blocks, and the quartz is like decoration. But, oh look, it's Seth! It's Seth! He's back! I'm going to go say hi. Hi, Seth. Do you want some quartz? There you go. <laughs> uh, I'm already at 23 levels, dang! All right. So what was I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, pretty much. Like in in Minecraft survival, there's there's two stages, and uh, one is gathering the materials, and the other ooh that's thunder, and the other is using those materials to make something. And uh, with quartz, in quartz's case, if you're gonna make something out of quartz, the the resource gathering portion in my opinion at least, far outweighs the uh, the actual building part. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. If there was an easier way to get it, then I would probably do that, but I was thinking like maybe making a, a hardened clay house, but again, similar to the factory using like hardened clay, but then just quartz is like the trim. But that's hard to implement since quartz is such a, it's such a very bright white, a vibrant color. It's very nice though. Ah, I'm, I'm torn. What do you guys think I should I should do for the house up there? Because I want to get into building some more. I want to get back to my roots because I've always liked the building aspect of Minecraft the most. Should I should I do some kind of quartz thing, or should I uh, try to do some like hardened clay or stone brick or something that if you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. Somebody suggested a stone temple a long time ago, and I mean, that's still doable, but... I mean, with quartz now... It, oh, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna make some quartz blocks right now. Right now. Yeah! Drop some over here. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna finish getting all this stuff. Oh, look, I'm level 30. Let's enchant something. Uh, pick that up so it doesn't despawn. <laughs> uh... Let me find a a diamond. I have a diamond pick above. I, I remember that. An unenchanted diamond pick. I don't. Re I'm not really hoping for anything in particular. I mean, I have fortune and silk touch, but you know, it's it's always good to have other other options in case you die. I got a whole bunch of hardened clay here that I haven't even. Wow, it's a lot. I haven't even. Uh, I should bring that over to the factory. Uh, there it is. The Amals. Oh, ha, ha. The Amals. I should also redo this. Uh, I got so many projects on my on my mind. Most of them involve building, but of, of course I'm gonna overdo them. The um, the enchanting table. Hi, Seth. The enchanting table room in the Nether. Hey, I heard that. Where was it? Did you hear? It was a chicken. I heard that. Where's the egg? I don't know. I heard that. I definitely heard it. I'm not hearing things. The enchanting table room in here could really be spiced up a lot. Just this whole thing, because this whole thing is pretty damn ugly. It's all just gross. And then it just kind of goes into these built-in catacombs to the fortress, and there's torches on the floor, and it's just bleh. And then there's this pine wood, with, and then there's holes in the pine wood. Yeah, it could be, it could be better. It could be much better. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Are you guys ready for redemption? Redemption on your part, since you flunked it all up the other times. This is the enchantment. You're going to 
put all of your willpower, all of your force, all of your knowledge into this one enchantment right here, and it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really awesome, and I'm gonna use it. I'm shaking my computer by the. That is good. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job. You've redeemed yourself. That that makes me feel better. That is a good work pick. You've been improving. It took you three flunks, and you got one good one out of that. That's all right. That is a okay with me. Uh. I guess I'm gonna mine out the rest of this quartz, and then I can actually start the nitty gritty. I, whoa, 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 Seth, dude, 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 Seth, Seth, what are you doing? Seth, what are you, dude? Stop, Seth, come on, we're buds. Seth, st I don't want to have to do this, man. I don't want to have to do this. You're my bud. I gave you quartz. That's a sign of friendship. I'm gonna have to put you down, though. It pains me to do it! And I don't want your flesh! Okay, let me get back to mining. Alright, we're back on the island that I just made. And it still has grass that's growing. I completely tore down the old one, because the more I looked at it, the uglier it got. And then I went back and I, I designed it, I redesigned it in creative. I'm just gonna make it right here. I'm gonna try and keep this short. I don't wanna dwell on too many details. I have like a picture that I might reference. Actually, no, I can't because then I have to get out of full screen and you know how annoying that is. So I'm going for a really uh, kind of futuristic look. By the way, this island right here, once it grows grass, which it already is, I'm gonna like put a lake and trees and maybe add some depth to it. It's definitely gonna look nice. My snowman buddy died, and we're pretty much ditching the snow completely. There's no reason for snow anymore. I tried incorporating it into this design, and it just looked it just looked weird. Too much stuff going on. So the base for this, as I said before, is gonna be this blue clay, which is gonna be like the outline of the building. The main walls, which I'm gonna make a lot more of, is gonna be cyan clay, which is pretty much it looks like gray which is very factory-like. It's like a darker gray than stone. I have cactus green right there. And I have lapis, I think, in here. One more lapis. And then we can make a whole bunch of cyan. And we can start dying. I'll just do a stack for now. And there we go. So, it's weird how this the base clay is, like, it's not a plain color, it's not white. So, like, whenever you, you gotta take into account, like, what colors you mix with it. Because th this looks no way in, like cyan, and this looks no way like blue. But, you know, you gotta get used to it. There was a screenshot that Jeb posted, uh, like, yesterday. And, uh, I think it was just a joke. I don't think he's really gonna implement it, but, uh, he had these the a biome that was made out of hardened clay like different colors of it like the uh oh, i forget where it is it's like the the pastel it's something that i can't remember it, it's something in the u.s and it has like it's colored cliffs and it's just a whole bunch of different sedimentary rocks and it looked really cool but people thought it was a joke and they didn't want him to implement it all right, let me work on the outside because I know how the outside outside's gonna look. Quartz, quartz everywhere. I think it's gonna be like that, and we had let's pillar up. That's not how you pillar. And it had stairs on top. Ooh, that actually worked. So that's like that's like the the entrance right there. Uh, I gotta make it look kind of like weird so I'm gonna do the, this whole thing out on the outside this uh quartz stair on the outside and there's gonna be pillars that I I'm gonna have to refer to the creative build a lot uh, this is just to give you guys the basic idea of what's gonna happen I'm just gonna build the entrance way today and I think I might end it there Oh no, 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 that's precious. Precious, I have. To, uh, no, I don't have my helmet. Precious. Yes. 
We're gonna have to go for some oxygen. <sighs> if only that worked in real life. Have you ever had the dreams where you're like, you, you're able to breathe water? That, that would just be so cool. To be able to just go underwater and just like, swim around in the ocean. Your eyes don't burn because it's all salty and stuff. Ah, that would be good. A whole lot of science is gonna be used. Alright, so I'm gonna work on this. Uh, I'll get back to you guys once I have the whole entrance way done. And, yeah. It's gonna look, it's, I think it's, I think you're gonna like how it looks. But feel free to let me know any feedback. Because that always helps. You guys might be professional builders, and you might have, like, really good ideas of what I could do with it. So I'll be right back. Alright. It's time for, nah, nah, it's supposed to be time for the grand reveal. You messed it up. You messed it up. Ah, it's gonna turn around on dramatically. Turn it into F8 camera mode. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that V-Sync mess up. That's, that's pretty much the, the entrance, the entrance that I got so far. Let me turn those things off. Uh, I'm going for this kind of, uh, this, it, it looks futuristic to me at least. It's got the blue clay, the cyan for the walls. The problem that I had with this at first, I was going to use like snow instead of cyan on the outside. Uh, because that would fit better, but it looks better on the inside with the cyan clay. Because this definitely looks really factory like, this is exactly what I was going for. With, uh, look, it's got the quartz layer up there. I'm almost out of all that quartz that I mined for, like, three hours. I only have, like, two stacks left. That's just, or, almost three. That's just incredible. Let's, ugh, I'm gonna spend a lot of time just getting quartz for this project. But, um, the lighting, there's not gonna be any torches. They're, they're just jack-o'-lanterns under the, uh, I'll fix, I'll fix that so you can't see that. These are all slabs, that's why. Uh, just to save blocks. Uh, the, the ceiling tilts up like it was before, so it's got like this layer over here that's not over there. And I like that. It looks very, it looks, uh, futuristic. <laughs> Everything just looks futuristic here. Everything. And, uh, it's got th these on the other side. Um, I was thinking, I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna implement this onto, like, actual land. I guess I could just, like, dirt, try and do my best to terraform on the outside. I might end up doing, but I, I I guess I'd figure I'd figure out how I'm gonna lay out the whole factory first. So what we're gonna have to have in here is uh, a hallway somewhere that just branches off into the dyes. How you manufacture the dyes. Now what I'm gonna need for that is green dye from cactus. I'm going to need a flower room, some place that I can just use bone meal and get the flowers for both red and yellow. Uh, lapis I can't really do. What else am I gonna need? What are the base colors? Not anything that's a mix because we don't need to produce those. We can just, we don't need a room for those. Uh, let's see, we got red, we got blue, we got yellow, we got green. Uh, I know I'm forgetting something. I'll figure it out. I'll have, but we need to have um, some kind of way to implement all these dyes and the dye production. And then we need a room for all of the furnaces that I'm going to be using. Uh, I was thinking about maybe moving this nether portal inside, like having that next to that. I was even thinking about, instead of having to go to the nether to get all the lava, I would just, uh, go, I would make a room, it would have the nether portal in it, and then it would have, like, a pit, and I could just fill that pit with lava every once in a while. Like, I would just go into the, the nether with a whole bunch of buckets, come back and fill that pit in the factory somewhere with lava, so I can just pick it up right there and put it in the furnace. I think that would be a cool idea, so... Some kind of, like, forgery room. Uh, what else am I gonna need? Uh, we're gonna need a dock somewhere. Or somewhere to, uh, dispatch the boats. I was thinking about having, like, rows, and you could, like, boat out. There'd be multiple boats, and you could choose one, just boat out somewhere. Because I'm already, if, here, let me get, grab my awesome helmet. This is how the water looks like without any gear. And then, if you grab this helmet, Aqua Affinity and Respiration, it just, it, it looks different. Oh, you can see everything. And if you use night vision, it's even more clear. But this is just so cool, because you can see clay so easily. As you can see, like, there's no clay over anywhere near here. There's some. 
uh, I've pretty much mined out everything around the factory. And so I'm going to have to boat off somewhere, just bo start boating in one direction, and then just keep on digging it from there. And that's how I'm going to have to gather it. Ugh. It's going to be a lot of gathering. Clay and quartz are pretty much the two most rewarding building blocks, in my opinion, but they're the hardest to get because it's just so much work for so little output. So that's I, I want to make a recommendation to Jeb, and I want to say that when you mine a quartz block, it should drop more than one quartz, similar to redstone or lapis. And that way, if you use a fortune three pick on it, you can get like eight or ten quartz from one block. Because it's, it's already, even though you'd say like, well, it's all over the nether, it's, it's really common, it's like coal. It's actually more like iron, it's not super, super common. And how to, and to get it, you have to go through some magnificent feats. <laughs> and uh, even if you do, uh, like mine all of that out that's seen on the surface, it's still not a whole lot because four quartz is just one of these blocks. And that's just, that's just insane, man. Because white goes with everything, dude. Quartz is, is like, quartz is the most beautiful block in the game, in my opinion, because it goes with anything. White is just the clean, clear white, and it goes with blue or red or green or black or anything. White goes with anything. So it's the most rewarding building block. Oh. <laughs> most rewarding building block, in my opinion. I cannot get out of here. But it's one of the hardest to get. <sighs> so I guess that makes sense. But it would be awesome if mining one quartz block would get you more than one quartz. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to end this here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be working on this a lot. Maybe off camera, maybe on camera. But uh, I'm going to do some other stuff as well. I'm not going to stick on the factory for uh, episodes at a time. I want to branch off and do some other fun stuff. Like make a mini game, possibly. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.